Yes, we had Owen Faith doing one of his pull down days. Um, we do this to just boost some athleticism, um, try to teach him some intent, get him thrown really hard. Owen's one of our uh, one of our long standing high school guys. He's a senior this year. When we got him, he couldn't even throw without pain. Now he's doing pull downs. He's been up to the mound, uh, up to 91 on the mound. He just broke his pull down PR today of 93, 94.3 with a 94.5. So he's doing outstanding. Come on, Paul. Facility record was 103.9 by Tyler Ferguson. He's had that for a few years, and it's kind of been my dream to have my name up on the record wall. So, finally got that done today. So for me, it really helps like this training intensity. You know, letting the body move real fast like that, and then kind of, kind of unlocks the body, helps you move a little bit quicker. Know that you can move a little bit quicker. So when you get back up on the mound, you can kind of trust that you're able to move a little bit faster. It kind of, it kind of helps unlock that next level. Down to the left, right? Like I think so. I mean, I feel like the pitch is defying gravity, so we, the part we won't understand. So they're supposed to be kind of in that range, like like a, like a little bit of a gyro slider. Yeah. So you don't want all the sweep. Not that much there. I mean, it, I mean it, honestly, it doesn't matter as long as it's like 90, 90 with the But it needs to not have above about. If it has above five it needs to have at least five four. Ten vert right there. Does location help you hold the metric you want? I don't know. It's 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 tough because where are you trying to throw this in the zone? Well, supposed to spin like this, right? Yes. Like if I was going like that, something like that. Right. It's just there, then I have to just get it close, upside down. And then it's like the numbers are ridiculous. Yep. So it's. Yeah, so we had Tyler Ferguson, one of our pro pro clients on the on the mound today, and Tyler um, is coming in with a very detailed plan on what he wants his pitchers to do. So um, today we just uh, he did a few high intent throws, kind of coming out of his velo phase before he jumped on the mound, and then we got on there and uh, we chased some some pitch metrics, uh, you know, some vertical breaks, some horizontal break. Um, he's working on a on a sweepy slider right now. Um, He's also trying to throw a, a power sinker, so we're looking for big H break on the fastball. And then he's trying to throw a cutter that kind of stays in that, in that five vertical break and close to zero on the horizontal line. And he's really trying to locate that down and glove side for swings and misses. We got about, I don't know, a month, month and a half before he heads out to spring training. So um, getting that locked in on the track man right now is a very big piece of his offseason. Oh man! Ready? 
So for the hit tracks hitting game, we break up into two teams of two, and we're basically playing a baseball game. We're seeing where we where we're hitting the ball. Guys are getting on base. We got AI runners for us, and we basically you know whoever scores the most runs wins. It's baseball. Nice work, fellas. Good swing in there. Go right through my face. Come on. Ninety point one. PR today. You had to go find them, right? You know what I mean? And that's almost the getting over the mountain of the deal of things. It's finding that, man, I'm in a hole, but I've got to still find some speed. You guys did that very good. Alright? Great job. Underneath, kid, come on! That boy! Come on, let's go! See you next week! So our next group of pull downs is going to be Sam Long, Nick Mears, Ben Herrick, and uh, Kevin Gowdy. Uh, there's going to be some fuel thrown from that group right there. I mean, I, I dry scoop it because I lackadaisically forget my, my shaker at home. So, I mean, when you, when you forget your shaker, you essentially just rip it dry. So we just gotta find this more often, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, dude, if you're 90 on the mound, there's a huge difference between 90 and 90 for you. Yeah, I know. Like, you know what I mean? So it's not like we don't have to make these 97, but which I'd love to. But if we can find out where it's breaking down between like that 2.6 2 miles an hour right there. So it's like we just kind of, kind of got to figure out what are you feeling? What are you feeling? Here to there. Right. Okay. Good. It looks good, dude. Like, it's still, yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I don't think we've made the drastic changes yet. We're only two weeks into the, you know, yeah. the yeah. stuff we're trying to do with your spine and shit like that. Yeah. And the need for speed is still there. Baby. Like, that's coming along good. Yeah, that's coming along. Yeah, it feels really good. Side of the right. 
you'll be so much better at throwing more if you're over the top. Just throw it through it. Saturday at 08, welcome to the jungle, baby.